ever dig through like a million old files trying to find that one data collection form? Yeah. You know, you saved it. The one with like the perfect layout. You just know you need to use it again. Mm. But all you can find are the filled out versions. Yeah. The worst. I've been there. What if there was something that could like bring back those lost forms? We're talking bringing them back from the dead, full on digital archaeology, but for your data. It's called XLS Form Recovery. And it's this new thing in the Gelbit Clicked app. Right. And in this deep dive, we're going to unpack how this tech works and, more importantly, what it means for anyone who's ever lost a form. Because, I mean, it's not just about recovering a file, right? It's bigger than that. Yeah. It's about, like, taking back control over your data, making it easier to work together, and maybe even changing how we think about managing data collection in general. Yeah, for sure. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's bring in the expert to, like, break down how this whole XLS form recovery thing even works. So what's really interesting here is how it connects these two big formats in mobile data collection, XLS form and XML. XLS form is like the easy way to build a form. Okay, I like where this is going. Easy way. Yeah, it's visual, you know, you design it kind of like you would a spreadsheet. Uh -huh. Super user friendly, especially for teams. But when you're actually out there collecting the data on phones or tablets, that's when XML comes in. Okay. XML is a little more, let's say, structured. Yeah. It's what makes the form actually work on the back end. So like XLS form is the architect's fancy drawings, all visual and stuff. Yeah. And then XML is like the actual construction plans. Exactly. Making sure everything actually gets built right. That is a great way to put it. And, you know, they usually work together without a hitch, but then there are those times when you really need that original XLS form, yeah. even after you've used it and downloaded the data. Right, like when you've lost the original and all you have are those completed forms just, like, sitting in your app. Mm -hmm. Ugh, the worst. And that's where, if I'm understanding this right, Kick it Collects XLS form recovery swoops in to save the day. Yes, it looks at those downloaded forms and uses these really smart algorithms to like re reverse engineer them, basically rebuilding a usable XLS form right there. Okay. That's pretty incredible when you think about it. So it's like taking those digital fossils and like rebuilding the DNA of the form. Yeah. Wild. But okay, let's get practical here for a second. Say I've got Kick Collect open right now. Phone's in my hand. I'm ready to recover a form. Uh, what do I do first? Yeah. So first, you're going to want to look for that little gear icon. You know, the one that usually means settings. Yeah, yeah. Like the digital junk drawer. Exactly. And that's where you tell Gitch Collect how to talk to your phone server. We're going to use a public one for this. It's called oddk.naa.io. It's a really great resource. Tons of example forms to mess around with. Oh, cool. And the best part, free. Don't need to worry about any usernames or passwords or anything for this. Free forms. I love it. Oop. <laughs> Okay, so we're connected to the server. What's next? Time to bring on the XLS form recovery. Almost. First, we need some forms to actually recover. You'll see a button that says, Get Blank Form. That's where the fun begins. You'll get this list of all the forms on the server. Pick a few with, like, different structures, you know, just to see how it works. Just tap to download. And Get Collect will even give you a little downloading message so you know it's working. I do love a good progress bar. Okay, download complete. Like, I've got a little museum of forms right here on my phone. Now, where's this XLS form recovery button hiding? It'll be waiting for you back on that main menu. You should see it. It just says XLS form recovery. Click it. Let's see what it does. Okay, clicking it now. All right, so this looks like it's giving me a little overview of the feature. Yeah, it'll explain a little about how it works. And importantly, it'll show you the pricing. Mm -hmm. So get collect charges based on the number of questions in the form. Makes sense. The more complicated the form, the yeah, more work it takes, exactly. right? Okay, I like it. So how do I pick which form to, you know, bring back from the dead? You'll see it on another button. It might have a little document icon or something. Tap that, and that's where the magic happens. You should see all your downloaded forms, and they'll each tell you how many questions and how much it costs to recover that XLS form. Hold on, I see it. Wow, <laughs> this is actually really cool. It's like a little time capsule of all my old data projects. <laughs> this one, this is from, oh, this is a beast of a form. Tons of questions, like multiple sections. If this can recover this, I'll be seriously impressed. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if it can actually handle this monster of a form. Yeah. All right, I selected it. There's the price again, just double checking. Deep breaths, deep breaths, and recover. Oh, Looks like it's connecting to the app store. we got to pay for it, secured everything. Payment confirmed, except... Now we wait. This is always the worst part, right? <laughs> like watching a Polaroid develop. Totally. But in this case, it's a uh, perfectly reconstructed XLS form. Exactly. And, you know, it's nice that it's so fast. 
that Git Collect does all the work. No uploading or anything. Yeah, super easy. Oh, here we go. Progress bar. Yeah. It's like a like a tech thriller or something. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yes, done. My XLS form back from the dead. Open it up. What do you oh, see? Okay, hold on. Oh, good. It's perfect. It's yeah. got all the sections, all the right question types, even like the little notes I added for myself. It's like a, a time capsule, but for, you know, data collection. Amazing. I know, right? Think about it. No more recreating forms, no more deciphering my terrible handwriting. And it's not just about, like, saving time. Right. Having that original XLS form structure yes. is so valuable for, like, analyzing the data, for working with a team. Imagine just sending a colleague a perfect, editable copy of this crazy form. Yeah, I know. No more headaches trying to make sure everyone's got the right version. Exactly. And this could even change how we manage data in the long run, you know? Totally. Like these XLS forms, they're important. We need to be archiving them properly. Absolutely. No more saving them to random folders. And I love that this works with any server, private, cloud, even just your own computer. Grog Collect can bring order to the chaos. So there you have it, listeners. XLS form recovery. It's not just about getting back what you've lost. It's about taking control of your data, making it easier to work together, and, you know, just thinking smarter about how we do data collection in the future. If you're as excited about this as we are, head over to our website. Let us know what you think. What would you use XLS form recovery for? The possibilities are kind of endless.